ask me what Austin 316 means, you're fixing to find out first hand, son. It's going to be a cold day in hell before I lose to a piece of trash like you. And that's about a line because Stone Cold said so. I'm better than you and I'm faster than you. So what makes you think you can beat me, you pathetic loser? Not everyone has the chance to step in the ring with a two-time Slammy Award winner, King of Hearts, like myself. So consider yourself lucky that you are even stepping in the ring. As the first third generation superstar of the WWF, I've been around wrestling all my life, and I've never seen an attitude like yours. Let's see what you're really made out of when I get you in the ring. I face some of the toughest men in the world, and I've beaten them all. When you step in the ring with me, you better be ready for pain, because I'm here to win. You. You'd best be afraid. Very afraid. The powers of my creatures may have weakened, but it is now your time to suffer. Prepare to feel the full force of death. First of all, let's get one thing straight. There is no one that can do what I can in the ring. You can take all those backstabbing hyenas and line them up, and none of them can beat me fair and square on my worst day. You're no different from any of them, and you're about to be excellently executed. We may have got lucky this time, but there's no way this bulldog is going to stay chained up for long. Are you ready? If you think you've done well against the other superstars of the WWF, you are sadly mistaken. Because in that ring, Hunter Hearst Helmsley has no equal. Watch carefully, fool, since you might just get an education in the process. I've worked hard to get where I'm at right now, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna let an amateur like you get in my way. I'm gonna make a punk out of you in no time. Now I've learned my moves from the best teachers around, and now it's time for this my dear to teach you a thing or two. I'm the most dangerous man in the Federation. If you think you're gonna beat me, you're sadly mistaken. Not only am I gonna make you submit, I'm gonna enjoy doing it. Are you ready? The heartbreak kid is man enough to admit when he gets beat. Don't get too cocky, big man, because it just might come back to bite you in the, uh... Oh, I forgot. This is a bad decision. Are you ready? Let me tell you a little something about the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. I've been causing hell with my clique since day one, and no one's gonna put a clamp on our act. If you think you've got the goods to bring us down, then just step up to the plate and swing your Louisville slug. Are you ready? You want a piece of me, the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels, I ain't too hard to find. I'm the good looking one standing behind his army. I'm a million strong. Around here, everyone thinks they can knock me and the click off the top of the ladder. So take your best shot, Jackson, because believe me, it ain't gonna be enough. Are you ready? You have no idea what you're getting yourself into by stepping into the ring with the heartbreak kid and his click. I may not be the biggest or the bass around here, but when it comes to showtime, at the Apollo, you'll have no problem dancing all over your face. The superstars you've defeated so far don't understand the power of the dark side. My creatures of the night are calling for your destruction, and you won't be able to escape the black hand of the Reaper. This battle will surely be your last, as my tombstone will determine your final resting place. I've seen guys like you before. You've got one move that's brought you this far. But now I'm gonna see what you're really made of. I've got more moves than you can imagine. And I'm gonna use them all. All right, I've been dreaming about putting you away since your first match here. And what better way than smacking you around with anything I could find? Give me a ladder, give me a chair, it doesn't matter to me. You just be prepared to go down rock hard. You may have conquered the others in the World Wrestling Federation, but you have yet to knock on the door of the Reaper. Your weak soul can't possibly handle the power of the dark side, and I will make your death as painful as I can. No one can save you when death's dark chariot comes to your doorstep. There is nowhere to hide from my creatures of the night. When they smell your flesh, the end of your existence is near. There will be hell to pay if you wish to step into the ring with the dead man. You were brave to have made it this far in the Federation, 
But now, my creatures of the night are screaming for your soul, and I must provide it for them. I don't care what type of match it is, chairs, ladders, straps, it don't really make a damn to me. The end result is going to be, you will get your ass whipped, because there can't be no other way. I've been bashed over the head by more stuff than you can shake a stick at, son. If you get Stone Cold down, you better keep on him, because if not, I'll open up a can of whoop ass and serve it to you right now. I don't give a damn what you did to the other WWF superstars. Hell, son, this is Stone Cold Steve Austin. The best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, and can't nobody tell me different. Dad, forget about your sharpshooters and your pro river plunges and all that other trash. Once you get hit with a stone cold stunner, son, it's one, two, three lights out. I just whipped your ass. No one can carry a federation on his back like I have. Not even you, you dirty piece of trash. The problem with this world is that people like you are turned into heroes by this sick society. Being the man that I am, I accept your challenge and I'll be able to prove that you are worthless. Your challenge makes me laugh. What makes you think you can survive the fight of the British Bulldog and get it alive? You have yet to face a superior athlete like myself. So get ready to step in the ring and feel the wrath of the British Bulldog. The other piece of trash of the World Wrestling Federation could never be the championship material that I am. If you think you've got what it takes to put the choke chain on the British Bulldog, then think again. When I get through with you, there better be enough of you to strip off the floor when you feel the wrath of the Bulldog. Okay, you beat me once, but I never lose twice. What makes you think you're gonna stop me? Like I've said time and time again, there's no holding back this thoroughbred. But since you're obviously too stupid to realize that, I guess there ain't nothing wrong with me kicking your teeth in. Listen, brother, it's the same old thing with fools like you. If you want to jump on my back, go right ahead, because I'll give you the whooping of your life. You'll just be another one in a long line of stupid little punks who had a death wish. I've already beaten all the WWF superstars. There's only one thing left for me to do on my quest for the title. Crush you like a bug and hear you scream under my foot. So you put me down. Big deal. I've been beat before, brother. And there ain't no way you're gonna do it twice. You guys have never been lucky that time. You pulled some good out of your bitches, but this time, I'm gonna give you a good old ass whooping, you know why? Because it's the headbanger's way. And when I get the one, two, three, yeah, that's three. <laughs> I'm gonna be victorious. <laughs> If you want it, here it is. Come and get it. But this time, you're going to have to fight for it. Perhaps the fight of your life. You see, I don't believe in stepping aside for someone like you. You're going to have to go through me the hard way. You think you've got me all figured out, don't you? There's nothing like a head-on collision, but you failed to guard the back door. You see, I'm coming at you from a place far beyond your wildest dreams, your sickest dreams. A place that you think you know something about. But in reality, you know nothing. You're trying to take something that doesn't belong to you. Someone else's property. Well, try to take my glory if you like, silly boy. But beware the gold that slaps you right across the face. When you get caught with your hand in the cookie jar, <laughs> I promise that you will never forget the name of You and I stand toe to toe, and you look me dead in the eye. You're going to be faced with a mirror image of yourself, aren't you? You see, I'm just as driven as you are, maybe even a little bit more. Crazy, silly boy. Well, let's get crazy together. So you will never forget the name of the... Gold Dust. Are you ready? Are you serious? 
That was the worst display of athleticism I have ever seen. The way you bobbled around the ring. You're lucky to have even made it to the WWF. Let me show you how a true thoroughbred wins these battles. Are you ready? Most wrestlers dream of seeing a Helmsley in action. You are about to receive an honorary first-hand demonstration. Prepare to get petted, you peon. Are you ready? This war concept is so trite. I'd much rather have my lawyer sue you into submission. But since you obviously have nothing of value to me, I'll have to deal with you in the ring in a more traditional manner. Are you ready? Feel free to use whatever you can find, you low-class scum. From the looks of things, you can use all the help you can get. But all I need is a pedigree to put an end to your wrestling career. So what? Those other lousy, stinking fools who give their lives to be just like me for a second. It takes more than you could ever imagine to become king of hearts such as myself. As a matter of fact, I doubt there's anybody on this whole planet that could train you enough to keep me down for a two count. Get out of the ring, you pathetic slob. You make me sick. Weapons? Why would I want a lousy piece of garbage like you ruining my good looks? On second thought, use whatever you can find, because a no-cow, out of shape, bum loser like you is going to need all the help you can get to beat the king of hearts. Get ready for what that stupid little girl have to face, because it's time to meet the real superstar of MMA. Right there to beat you, and no one going to come save your sorry carcass. Just make sure you got plenty of insurance, punk. Listen up, punk. That little ass body of yours can't pop your deal with the ass whipping I'm going to give you in the ring. If you want to step up to play team, bring it on. Because I forgot to take my medication in the morning, and I'm in a real bad mood. Hey, if you want to play like that, there ain't nothing between us but air up duty, boy. So go ahead, bring your toys and get a ring. You got to do nothing on this earth that's going to save you from this sad world. Those are some stars. They're a push up. But now, you better be ready to get the big dog. Because if you're dumb enough to believe you got what it takes to take on a big dog and a perfect dog, then come on. You step right up, baby. And I guarantee you. Hey, 
I love to watch you wrestle. I hope you keep winning. Oh, I have something to give you. Hey, champ. Your chariot awaits. Oh, it's you. You haven't seen the champ, have you? <laughs> Never mind. I imagine a wrestler at your level doesn't ever get to meet the champ. I saw your win tonight. Very impressive. I've got my eyes on you. <laughs> 